whole band here almost um, for the next song. So I'm going to tell you guys about my first gig that I ever did. Now, we're here, I see the nervousness on their faces and stuff, and I want to tell you guys, my first gig ever, I, I was in a band you guys probably heard of, it's called Dry Roasted Peanuts. Oh, you guys were fans, right? <laughs> no, actually, I mean, we had about, you know, ten fans, actually. And, I mean, only nine of them were our parents. So, <laughs> we had one fan, his name was Bob. Bob started our fan club, he was the president, vice president, sec uh, treasurer. He was everything to our fan club. He, he meant a lot to us. And, um... In this story, I always want to preface it with, and I know there's some bass players in here, and I've got a lot of respect for them, but never trust a bass player to, to book a gig for you, though. Because um, my, my bass player, he, um, he promised us this gig. He's like, there's someone I know that's going to be graduating. He's graduating high school. We were a little bit older, but um, we thought it would be cool to play. And he said they're going to give us 500 bucks for playing. And there's going to be 100 kids there. So we're like, yeah, that's awesome, you know, 100 people, that's awesome, we'll, we'll definitely do it. So, as time went on, each practice that we had, the numbers got a little bit less. It wasn't going to be 100 kids, it was going to be 90 kids, 80 kids, 70 kids, and that $500 dwindled down to the point where it was like, they're going to give us 50 bucks for playing. And um, we had to think, you know, is it really worth bringing out all of our equipment? But it was a good, you know, experience to learn how to do this. So we went, and it was actually in the guy's backyard. And um, it's kind of a hard place to set up all these things. If you guys notice all the power cords and stuff up here, it is crazy. You know, to set it up in a backyard, you have no idea what the sound is like. And we didn't really have the equipment for that. And um, so we started, we started um, playing. And, um, well, I guess there were some complaints from the neighbor. And the neighbor said um, that... Um, you know, they were going to call the cops. So the, so the mother asked me to, um, if, if we could just take the drums out of the mix there. I said, you know, we, you can't take the drums out. Well, can you just unplug all the guitars and then just play unplugged? You know, you can't, you can't hear it at all. It's ridiculous. So we did like one last song. There was, only, there was only like five people out there and they were all his uncles. I feel really bad for this poor kid. And his uncle kept wanting me to play Black Sabbath. That's all he kept yelling is, play Black Sabbath. No, we don't have that prepared, so we can't do that. Anyways, um, we, we have Peyton and uh, Sophia, and, and Sullivan's not here, actually. <laughs> so we don't have the full band thing going, but we do have um, guitar and bass, so, or guitar and guitar. Guitar and guitar. So they're going to be playing Blackberry Blossom. So let's hear it for... Um, Peyton and Sophia. <laughs> 